And we're back. And better than ever. No, don't do that. No. Don't do what? No, oh, never mind. Well, that was a weird exchange. Well, it looks like Hercules is going to be fighting in a contest of champions. Or as uh, Gohan put it in the last part, cock. <laughs> oh, jeez. Grow up. Never! So it looks like we're going to have a tables match between Iron Lad and Future Trunks at Contest of Champions. It's called cock. No. Now, coming to the room. This is a intergender tag team match. An intergender tag team match is coming to the ring? Amazing! Shut up! From Charlottesville, Virginia, Chris Chan! Well, this started off because earlier tonight, uh, Chris Chan lured uh, Bella, Jason Fox's girlfriend, out to the parking lot to try to have a party in his pants, apparently. And Hanky Pank, whatever. What is Hanky Pank? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I do know, but it's just a really old timey thing. Yeah. This guy's like, what, 30? Could he be? I don't know. Not saying old timey thing, but, you know, you'd expect from Logan. Yeah, you'd probably expect him from Wolverine. Yeah, but Wolverine's like 200 years old or something. Okay. Something like that. 100 something. You know, I finally figured out what that is. It's not a dance. What is it? He's got ants in his pants. Ants in his pants. Ants in his pants. Or maybe they're squirrels. Squirrels? How would you get squirrels in your pants? I don't know. Maybe he pissed off Squirrel Girl. Like you did? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that. You really gotta do some of the loading screens. And his top ten partner from West City. Wow, who is what the hell? Why is she killing up a Chris Chan? Maybe to annoy your sister? Well, I thought. I thought the two sisters. Like Pretty much got over their differences. The world is mine. Yeah, but Bella has never actually beaten Bra on a map, so maybe she wants to beat her tonight. Or just beat on Christian, I don't know which. Man, this is gonna be distracting for me. Um, how do you, when are you ever not distracted? Wow. That's true. Yeah, last episode you... I had a thing with a smurf, and uh, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Now, this episode, you've got, well, actually, you did pretty good this time, except, well, you're always distracted. Stop staring at her like that, Chris Chan. Well, if she wasn't doing that little dance there, I, I would say he's staring creepily, but she was doing that little dance, and probably every guy in the arena is doing, staring at her creepily. And now, their opponents first, from Gotham City, here's Mr. Money in the Bank, the Red Herb, Jason Todd! Well, I don't know how bright an idea this is for Boo and his little band to be messing with the Red Hood. I mean, those guys that just kind of insulted him in OCBF got blown up in a car full of kryptonite. Yeah, well, kryptonite didn't even affect them. Well, no, but blowing them up would affect at least Hercule and Chris Chan. Boo would probably make a whole bunch of little tiny boos. Oh, that's, that, that's disturbing. Yeah, well, that would probably have to have like little tiny rat-sized boos running around here. Uh, I don't think I want that. But you may have no choice in the matter. Then again, maybe Redhead won't blow him up. But this seems to be a bit of a pyromaniac. Well, he's only blown up one guy so far. That's true. And that guy came up 
back acting like the Undertaker. <laughs> really gotta do something about these loading screens. These are brutal, man. And now, from West City, she's a member of Team Legacy, Vera Briefs. Uh, well, I got some things to tell you about Valdelia here. Valdelia? Yeah, that's her full name. Like the onion, Vidalia onion? Yeah. And her middle name's Bikini. Bikini? Yeah, her middle name is Bikini. Alright. That makes some sense, I guess. Um. Okay, in this match. Yeah, and, and look, I got her purse. Well, how do you have her purse? Betting her sister? Yeah. Very good, thanks. Hey, look, it says new pictures in here. Oh my. Oh, Jason Todd! No! No, no, get those away from me! Don't throw them in the audience! Man, that old guy's really fighting for him. Uh, man, I, I understand the women fighting for him, but that old dude. Well, I don't know what, what Chris Chan is trying to do here. But Red Hood gets out. And he's going for a big move early. That suplex onto the belly and the face. And, and now, going after him. Oh, big knee to the face. I mean, he really wants to mess up Chris Chan's face, but nature already did that. And now Chris Chan tags in Bra. And Red Hood has to tag out. Now, why do we have this kind of ruling in this company? Uh, because that's the way this game works. I don't know. And v Vela's running away from Bra. Well, she's probably afraid of her older sister. I mean, one's like late 20s or 18 so yeah whoa fella just kicked Chris Chan up to the ring yeah I saw that that was a mate that was weird well I guess she does have super strength like her parent or her dad anyway now she punched him up to the ring again and a neck breaker on the concrete and bras leaving the ring and coming over here hey baby yeah yeah we'll do that later uh, try to ignore Deadpool, and Vela's still attacking Chris Chan out there, I guess. I guess she didn't appreciate the party in the pants thing. And again, I guess no one appreciates it. And now Vela's getting back in the ring, and getting out of the ring. I guess to stop the count. And she's going, Bra, look out behind you! And she throws Bra back into the ring. Now we actually have a match here. You're in the neck breaker. And that weird leg drop. Stomp. And I think he's going to go after Chris Chan again, but decides better for it and hits Bra with a bulldog. And taunts the crowd. And a shoulder tackle from Bra. Bra gets back into this match. Yay! Uh, I thought, aren't you supposed to be kind of impartial? No. And there's a hip toss. Then again, you never have been impartial. And Bra plays the crowd and pays for it. And Bra gets back up, but it gets a neck breaker and goes back down. I don't know what Bella's doing. She's circling her. And she hits an elbow drop. And now Vela thinks she wants to go after Chris Chan again. Well, that's probably the only way a woman will ever go after him is to beat him up. Heh, <laughs> probably. And now Bra leaves the ring and comes back over here. Yeah, well that, yeah. Yeah, later, uh-huh. No, no, and she's talking to Deadpool again, flirting with him. And I think Bra does some, you know, she drop kicked Chris Chan. Red Hood just kind of, he's just taking it easy out here, he's pretty much got a night off, this this match is getting pretty bad. Vela keeps wanting to beat up Chris Chan and Brock keeps wanting to flirt with Deadpool. This is, this is horrible. Oh, into those still steps, and now I think Vela's, I think her vengeance lust is over. Now she's going to try to, nope, she tags in the Red Hood. And now Bra has to tag out, and we'll we'll see Chris Chan and Red Hood fight again. Oh boy! Whoa! And I'm just kind of surprised that clothesline too. 
And Vela grabs Christian. Not surprised about that. That a girl is stronger than him. Yeah, I think this girl's stronger than you. And me and everybody combined. And Red Hood chokes. Everybody out. And I think Bra is too. Bra's stronger than her. And oh, D uh, DDT reverse style. Now kick to the back. And uh, a fancy DDT. Now Red Hood with an elbow drop. And it looks like he's ready to end this match. Thank God. Moonsault. A standing moonsault. And now... Uh-oh. Red Hood's going for it. And Bella just slams Bra onto the concrete. Oh man. RHKO. This match is probably over. One, two, how the hell did he kick out of that? I, I don't know. You think Boost will get him power? He must be. And Chris Chan tags out and Red Hood lets him and now Red Hood's playing in the crowd or playing off the bra, I don't know. And he goes out of the ring for a second. He better tag it. Okay, he tags in Vela. And they're kind of having words with each other. And... Wow, the blockbuster from off the top rope. And she botched that, whatever that was. And the bulldog. And a leg drop thingy. She got, goes behind, drags her over. Oh, knife edge chops onto the turnbuckle. And another, another, and another. Just a bunch of knife edge chops. And Bella goes down. Yeah, she does that a lot. Uh, uh, thanks for sharing. Wait. That's not the one you're dating. No, I'm just, this is what I hear. Uh, nice to know. And Bra's taking the turnbuckle cover off and dragging her little sister over to the exposed turnbuckle and slamming her head into the turnbuckle. Ow! What is this some kind of this is like a disturbing sibling rivalry here. Well Bra was the youngest until that one was born. And the, her brother. And a neckbreaker. And a tag in, Chris Chan. Who's kicking air. And now he's coming over and staring at her boobs. Wow, well, that's about as, about as close as we'll ever get. And he gets a punch in the face. And tags in the red hood. She tags in the red hood. And he runs. And he hits a neckbreaker. You didn't have to s say he ran. I mean, really. Triangle hold. And he punches the red hood. And an elbow drop. And Vela punches him from behind and knocks him out. And red hood with a drop kick. And now Vela's grabbed Chris Chan. Well, he choked him out a while ago. Let's see what Red Hood does him this time. Nothing, because Chris Chan broke free of it. How? I don't know. But. The boo power. Yeah, the boo power. Uh, Neckbreaker. And now, he thinks he's Matt Hardy. Oh, God. He just did a Matt Hardy leg drop, but barely hit the Red Hood, who gets back up. And misses that elbow drop. And now, Chris Chan with a neckbreaker. And another triangle hold. And a punch in the face. And... Wait. Side effect? He really does think he's Matt Hardy. And then he slams his fat ass in the Red Hood's chest. He goes for the pin. One. Two. Red Hood kicks out. And hits him with a drop kick. And now Chris Chan's tagging out. And Red Hood tags out. And now the two sisters are fighting again. And Bra ran to a hip toss. And a leg drop. Now, uh, you know, 